Welcome back to Fresh Outlook. If you're just joining us, we are talking about LA Clippers owner Donald Sterling, who was accused of racist comments this week. The NBA commissioner has now banned Sterling for life, fining him $2.5 million and has urged league owners to force him to sell the team. Now, some sponsors dropped the Clippers. So what is the future for this team? So what's next for Sterling? Presumably, Sterling could appeal the commissioner's decision. That would be an internal appeal. The process for that appeal would be determined by or is determined by the commissioner or the, the bylaws, the Constitution. But the NBA Constitution is a private document. Only the owners have the eyes to see it. Silver is encouraging owners to force Sterling to sell the team with a three-quarters vote. Despite the scandal, the Clippers won Game 5 of the NBA playoffs, scoring 10 points more than the Golden State Warriors. You know, I thought Adam set the tone for us as well today. And, um, you know, I, I, you know, you keep learning. You know, I think everybody, um, you know, you, you think it's just the players. It was the fans too. You know, everybody was going through this. And it was almost like everybody wanted to exhale tonight. Uh, and, and it was good. As for Viz Diviano, the 31-year-old woman who ignited this circus in motion, she is said to be, quote, very saddened by the NBA's decision. Sterling's wife, Rochelle, sued Stiviano for more than $2.5 million. Stiviano allegedly received lavish gifts from Sterling, including luxury cars and a $1.8 million duplex. Stiviano's attorney says she never wanted to harm Sterling and refuses that she sold the tape. Dee Dee Benke and Dr. Michael McCoy continue our discussion and we welcome Steve Popper. He's an NBA columnist from the Bergen Record who also used to work with the New York Times. We welcome you first time to the show. Good to be here. Well, uh, we've been talking about this uh, in the last, se uh, the last segment right there. Um, you were telling us um, you're going to be doing a couple different stories. You've been covering this all week. Uh, just what are your thoughts uh, on the LA Clippers moving forward? Well, I think every story on this starts with everyone you speak to says he's despicable. But, you know, and, and it then gets into the legal maneuverings here of what's going to happen. Did the league come down hard, too hard? And, uh, you know, Mark Cuban said the day before the punishment came down, it's a slippery slope. And I think that's what probably 29 other owners are probably like checking their, uh, their conversations they've had <laughs> behind closed doors right now and wondering, you know, is this too much? Is this, you know, is it privacy? Is it, you know, is, is there issues here that go beyond what this guy said and, and in a private conversation. Well, we said that this case certainly brings up a lot of different discussions. Number one, privacy. Number two, if somebody alters an audio tape. And number three, what do you do in a case of, you know, with, with a sports team like this? So uh, there's a couple different things on the table. We were certainly talking about a, a couple different of them, but we were going back to the NBA. Did the NBA come down too hard on them? Well, I think the lifetime ban is, is going to stick. I think the fine is obviously a you know, small change to him. I, I think they're going to have a little trouble with the, the sale, of the forced sale of the team. And look, this guy has never set, you know, <laughs> just accepted a punishment, accepted you know, a, a, a court ruling. Uh, I spoke to some lawyers out this week in uh, California who've gone against him in court. And it's even when you beat him, you lose. You know, he, he they goes said he's tougher than nails. Yeah, and he, he never gives up. And then, look, that's where a lot of this started with the wife suing to recover gifts he'd given to... Well, to we were talking about the whole, like, little conspiracy theory on, uh, with, with the, we've got the wife, we've got the, uh, the, the girlfriend getting these gifts, um, and, and Dee Dee, you're, I, I mean, I, I don't think anybody's really come down too hard on this mistress, this woman. I know, she's such a whack job, though. I mean, you know, the thing is, she's like, oh, I'm so sorry that happened. I'm like, well, you're the cause of it. Someone pulled her into it. There's clearly a third party. That'll be very interesting if that ever, you know, comes up. But what she did, I mean, really was awful. Even though he's an awful guy like we've talked about, what she does equally awful, she should go to jail. No, no, Mia, I want to be clear. She said that she's not his mistress or his girlfriend. She's <laughs> a good friend. Oh, yeah, then there's that. She's but a she good friend. But she takes the lavish sure. gifts. Sure. Well, because they're friends. And so that's oh, and that's what, and that's what, father, and that's what, and that's what friends very do. Sweet. So she's very sweet. <laughs> and, and friends record conversations and then let the world know yeah. that what a which sweet guy he is. You know, I look, I, I think that um, Sterling was involved in illegal housing behavior and the NBA should have sanctioned him a long time ago. But when it comes to we're sanctioning you because you said horrible things in a private conversation, if that was it alone, I would, I'd agree with Cuban. I think we are on a slippery, slippery slope. We have a right to be absolute jerks. We have True. absolutely that right. And even if you have a morality clause, 
He didn't say it in public. He said it in private conversation with a good friend. And, and, and you have that right. And you can't be stripped of your assets because you say something that's uh, you know, disgusting to me. But this is NBA, not a, a court of law. And it's not the government. It's a different thing. But it's they but think it's, it hurts the league. It's money. I mean, the, I mean, there's, sort of, it's all there's, sort, of a, of there's sort of a franchise argument. And this is not you know governmental. This is franchise. And, I, and I, I'm sympathetic to that. But I do think that. It, it then becomes a case of, okay, what are the standards by which you get to be stripped That's of your That's true. Where do you stop? I mean, these owners, well, Steve, like what you said, 75% well, have to. Well, I was going to say, Go Steve, well, do you think that there's a lot of NBA owners out there that might be a little worried right now? Well, sure, because, I mean, first of all, when, when we look at what he did, we, we specifically asked Adam Silver, is this just for this now? And, and did you take into consideration his body of ugly work over, over <laughs> 30 years? Uh, and he said, this is really just for this smoking gun, this mm -hmm. audio tape. And, and, and his excuse was, we don't, we don't, he, uh, he settled out of court, he wasn't found guilty, so we can't, we can't punish him before for something that he wasn't found guilty for. But obviously, if you look at the things that were, were back in those court documents in the housing cases, the yeah. Department of Justice, I, I think actually much uglier than this stuff. Absolutely. This sounds like a bitter, jealous old man breaking up with a 50 year, you know, whatever you want to call her, mistress, girlfriend. But, but some of the stuff that, that happened and the, dis the ha racial discrimination in the housing, is stuff that's illegal. Nothing he did here is illegal. It's ugly, it's stupid, it's ignorant, but it's not illegal. The stuff back then it is. Yes. And, and now I think when you get into other owners, you've got to start getting into that. Are things going to be worse? Are there going to be illegal things? Or is there, not even illegal, I, I actually spoke to Jason Collins of the Nets who, uh, about this, that when you look at what, what Donald Sterling did, it's despicable and it's ignorant, but he also has the side of him that has donated huge sums of money to the Millions NAACP, uh, enough to get them two lifetime achievement awards somehow. I don't know how you do that, but NAACP. Yeah, and and, and <laughs> award. He, yeah, and, and and you know they're going to give him these two awards. But you know you look on the other side. Look at the DeVos family in Orlando, who is going the other way and donating to anti-gay marriage groups when the league is bending over backwards to pat itself on the back about Jason Collins, and, and Jason just said, you know. You wish everyone would be for liberty and equality, but that's you know America. It's not. It, it's it's an awkward situation for the league. Uh, and but for it Adam certainly Silver. opens up the conversation in, in many many different ways, as yeah. to what is private and what is not. And I but I think but I think conversations like that really do become slippery slopes because like okay so you're you're now giving money to um, anti-gay marriage and, uh, initiative. You know that's a political issue. This is a political debate right now, and so are people going to be sanctioned for taking different sides in the political debate? You may just hate the other side, but we all have rights to take sides in political debate, and is that going to be the standard? So I think for Silver to say, and I, and I hear the standard, he was not found guilty, so you can't punish him for something he wasn't found guilty of, but if you're only going to be judged for a private, terrible statement you made, then we're opening the door for just recording everybody, he's and so then, you know. to say that. For that, he should have said a cumulative. Everything he's done, that way, whenever something happens with one of the other owners, it's not going to be a big deal. Well, unlike me, who's just an NBA columnist, Adam is an attorney, and I think he, he was very careful to parse his words, knowing that a court battle is probably going well, to follow. Well, honestly, though, but, but Steve, don't, the other thing we were talking about this earlier, but when you record somebody, um, there was a, a journalist who got caught saying something by another reporter. Uh, it, it, they weren't even actually recording, but they caught him saying something, and he got into trouble. It was a couple months back. And I think that opens up the, the conversation that what about those audio recordings? What about video recordings when, when you're in your, the privacy of your own home? Well, I think this is a very strange battle that's looming. And look, he's going to take on the battle. Yeah. The guy's worth $1.9 billion. He's 80 years old. I don't think he could care less. Matter of fact, he, his family stands to lose $200 million just in taxes. So that's if, why his, his wife was cheering there. Right. If, if, he, if he's forced to give the team up now and sell it now versus uh, after his passing, uh, when he when when his family would inherit it, um, I I think that he is. Uh, I, I think you're just facing so many different issues here, so many legal issues. You know, the NBA has very strict rules that you have no recourse from this vote that's coming from the board of governors. That you can't you know take action back against them. But what, in court, it's a different thing. What are, what are your thoughts about some of the sponsors pulling out? Well, I think I think you know we talk about a black white issue. I think when the NBA really acts is when it's a green issue. <laughs> and, Absolutely. And, and I, th I think that the sponsors, you know, they, Monday, they, you know, it was just every 10 minutes I was getting an update that someone else was, was uh, bailing out on this. And look, the players uh, were going to boycott this. They, I mean, they, they've talked about the plan and how they had, had for this. 
uh, Kevin Johnson, who's a brilliant guy out in California, a former player who's now the mayor of Sacramento and is probably going to someday be the governor of California. He, he did a masterful job of getting players out on social media. This was a huge, huge deal and a huge hit for the NBA. And I think that had something to do with Adam coming down as hard quickly as he did. Well, you know. I, I don't know if he really had a choice either. No, I don't think he did. And I, 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 I do wonder, though, if he missed that by saying this, this legal issue. Because if he's going to bring, like, okay, we can't talk about that issue because of legal, legal technicalities. Look, I, this recording would be thrown out of any legal court. Yeah. Right, of so course. So if he's going to put legal, if he's basically put a legal standing on what we are and are not punishing for, then for legally, you can't punish for this. I and I, so I, I, I really think he missed that by saying that. I think I he should have said you. he should have said cumulative. And if cumulative, Absolutely. I think you could make an argument behind this. But recording a privately terrible statement, mm -hmm. um, and then you're going to, and this is going to be the fine. We are going to open the door for are, are all politically incorrect, as defined as politically incorrect in that moment, are all these statements going to result in loss of sponsorship, and loss of team ownership? they're anti-Hispanic, anti-white, anti-gay. Where does it stop? Yeah. And, and, and we, we talked, about, I've talked to some agents about this, of what happens if a player says something now on the court, uh, mm. anti-black? There you go. Yeah. What, if, what if someone makes a comment anti-German? You know, do you go to the mat for Dirk Nowitzki now? Mm. You know, that, that, that you, you've now put yourself on this path of, if you're a racist or you're, you're bigoted in some way, and Look, you know, whatever we think about this guy, he says he's not a racist, <laughs> and on the tape, on the tape, he's repeating it over and over again. Right. And she says he's not a racist. Um, you know, does this now get to a point where you have to match the punishment for someone else who does it, for a player, for an owner, for a front office executive, a coach, anyone? Steve, uh, great points, uh, especially like the point it's not just a black or a white issue, it's a green issue. Uh, thank you so much for being on Fresh Outlook. It's a pleasure. Uh, you're going to have a busy week this week reporting yeah. on all this. <laughs> and we've got much more coming up on the show, including a look at skyrocketing rents on who is buying up real estate here in the U.S. We'll be right back with much more.